Now this, Nancy Pelosi facing challenges from both sides. The Republicans have made her a target in the midterms, and the Democrats are looking maybe to replace her if they control the House after the midterms. Tammy Bruce, independent women's voice mm -hmm. president. You know, she can't win, can she? I mean, she's well, under attack by the Republicans, yeah. and if she does become the Speaker, she might not become the Speaker because she's attacked by Democrats. Yeah, the Republicans love her, though, really. She's, she's the Republican favorite for some obvious reasons. Uh, but she's not going to be going anywhere. Look, the rhetoric you're hearing now is to, is to help uh, individuals who are running for office who feel that they need to distance themselves from her for, for some reason, for whether it's because of the, they're in a, a, a district that leans left or they're going against uh, someone, of course, in the midterm who the president supports. Um, but she's allowing them to do this. Now, Clyburn, who is one of her aides, has come in and said, well, uh, maybe I would run against her because of pressure from the Black Congressional Caucus, but he wouldn't be saying that unless she allowed him to say that. She's also told individuals running, go ahead and run against me if this will help you because we need to win. But here's the Democrat uh, uh, conundrum. Uh, they need her. There is no other leadership. This is how in bad shape the Democrats are. She also raises huge money. She's in Napa Valley today with people like John Kerry and, and Jerry Brown, the governor of California, and she will raise a ton of money. Without Nancy Pelosi, the Democrats are in even bigger trouble. Mm. So you're hearing all of this stuff from internally which is a theater for the midterms, Nancy Pelosi will go nowhere. It'll be like what the Republicans did with Obamacare. They're going to campaign on doing X, but when they get in, they won't. And this is why everybody's got a problem with Congress in this country, because of how they approach the election. I, I, I'm trying to work out exactly what's going on here. Mm. If the Democrats win control yes. of the House sure. in November, yes. then she would be the Speaker of the House. Oh, well, but she has to stand for election to that be is the correct. Speaker of the House. To, to be the leader of the party there. Are you saying that she wins that election? Oh, sure. And now, if you had a wave of people like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez winning the left, but they, they won two out of the five individuals that they endorsed. Um, you're looking at the Republicans have won, uh, I, what was it, eight out of nine yeah. Yeah. special elections. Mm -hmm. um, there isn't going to be a wave of people going in there that are presenting new leadership um, or, or a new vision, uh, that's not going to happen. It's going to be the, the regular stalwarts. And even if you did want to vote someone else in, you're going to vote someone in who can raise money and win elections. If they've won elections, then Nancy Pelosi is also right back in. And the left will not have enough push to change those numbers so to any dynamic. And who's her number two in the House if she wins the speakership, right? Well, well, well yeah. And this, is, and this is where Clyburn comes in in right. the Black Congressional Caucus, right. is that he's not going to run against her. Uh, you know, this is, it's a teamwork. They'll both, by the way, in this next term, be 80. Cly Clyburn is 80? 78 80 now. Is a great point. Um, mm -hmm. Steny Hoyer is 79. Mm -hmm. Nancy Pelosi is in late 70s. It's They're the same team. Me. I never <laughs> but it's the same, How do you feel about that? <laughs> it's the same team, and, but neither one of them can raise money like Nancy can. So yeah, why not keep true. Nancy? And, we, talks, of course, we look forward to that. But she will not be a Speaker of the House, by the way. She'll just still be the leader of, of the Democrats who oh, will continue to lose. Uh, we'll see. That's we'll see, right. Tammy. Great analysis. Sting in the tail right there. Thank, Thank you. you, Tammy Bruce. <laughs>